Welcome to the Model 3 fourth video, Wireless Networks. In this lesson we will talk about different wireless networks available for the Internet of Things. Here we can see a comparison between common wireless protocols on the Internet of Things world. First we can see Bluetooth, which provides low-range communication with medium bandwidth. It's very widespread for some applications, like audio on or wearables. And Plus is a proprietary protocol very popular for sport wearables. Zigbee is a medium-range protocol oriented for home automation devices. Z-Wave is the main Zigbee competitor, but not so, one, not so widespread. Wireless Heart is an extension of the Heart protocol, which is a very popular protocol in, the, in industrial applications. Zigslopan is the open source hope for the IoT but it relies on the TCP IP version 6 and this protocol has very low penetration. Wi-Fi is usually discarded as an IoT protocol, but the chips have reduced a lot of its cost and energy consumption, and this made them a very serious competition on, competitor on this contest. 3G and 2G is currently the wide area unique option but their cost and consumption are its main weakness. Some new contenders are LoRa, Sigfox and LTE Mobile. These are the telecommunication companies' response to provide a common infrastructure for the IoT application. They are currently in a battle together to become the de facto standard. So, if we turn to our, our Raspberry Pi, the easiest option to have wireless connection is Wi-Fi and a 3G stick. Since the Raspbian Jesse version, Wi-Fi is configured by default and we only need to provide the access point and the password to finish the configuration. However, the network is configured by default to use dyna dynamic addresses. DHCP is a system that automatically assigns an IP address to the devices. This IP can change if the system is disconnected from the network temporarily. If we are going to access our system through SSH or VNC, this can be very inconvenient. To configure the IP to be static, we use the following procedure. First, we press on the arrow icons from the network. Then we right click on them and we select the interface that we want to change the IP. We write, we can choose between the wireless and the wired, and we, we write the IP address that we want to be static. We, want to, we can check what the graphic interface have done on the console, Use, uh, looking at the file dhcpcd.conf. We must reboot the connection before the changes take place and once the machine has rebooted we can use the command ifconfig to check if the changes have taken effect. Here we can see how the IP address has changed to be the one that we have given and is not a random one assigned by the DHCP. There are three common ways to add 3G connectivity to our Raspberry Pi. Devices that connect to a server port in the same way that our dial-up modems is the first option. USB de devices that are detected as a serial port and then work in the same way as the first kind is the second option. Both of these types create a point-to-point -point connection using a software called PPPD in Linux systems, and this is a very complex system to configure. So we have a, a third kind of devices that are USB sticks that are detected as network devices. In this course, we have used the Huawei E303, which is an inexpensive device, easy to buy, and well detected by common distributions. So we recommend this kind of devices as they are configured in the same way as the Wi-Fi and Ethernet interfaces and doesn't require the complex mechanism of the PPPD software. If we have a 3G stick and we want to get more information about which is the, which kind of uh, device is this, 
We can use the LSUSB command to get the information about the devices connected to the USB port. The information returned is very useful to find drivers and information about our hardware. Here we can see the information returned by our Huawei E303 stick. In this lesson we have seen that there are a great number of wireless protocols used in, use in the Internet of Things. We have also seen that our Raspberry Pi provides Wi-Fi connection using, it on, using its onboard chip. Other usual options to be used with a Raspberry Pi is a 3G USB stick. With this lesson we have finished Model 3. In the next model we will learn how to interact with the world using sensor and actuators. Thank you and goodbye.